this is Brandon Moon with Leland Fly Fishing. I want to welcome you to Fly Tying Night tonight. Tonight we're going to be tying up a pink Albert in a parachute. We're going to tie this in a size 16. Also perfect in a size 14, 18, and sometimes 20. With that I want to make sure and invite you to like our video leave us a comment if you've gotten any value out of this video or any of our others it helps us out a great deal and we appreciate it a, a lot as we work to create good content and put it out in the community so I'm going to start my thread which is Semperfly's Classic Wax 12 watt, and this is just the shell pink thread and I'm going to start that roughly about three quarters of the way up this hook shank. The hook I'm using is the Moonlit Premium Tagata ML102. Again, a size 16 is a great size. Also tie it in a size 14, 16s, 18s, and 20s. I'm going to take some pink poly yarn and I've split this, this is a Semperfly poly yarn, so I split it in half and that's going to give me my post and I want this to be right at that three quarter point and I can move it around just a little bit until I really seep that down by lifting it up now I've got it lined up at that three quarter mark. I'm going to lock it down with some wraps in front and behind the post. Now I'm just going to wrap up my post with some thread. And once I get that started I can kind of do that. I don't want to put a ton of pressure on there so I'm not pulling that thread all the way off that post. We'll go up just a little bit and then wrap it back down. Now I'm just going to go in front and back and that's just going to secure my post in. Now I'm going to take this thread and we're going to wrap it all the way back to the bend of the hook. I want to create a nice smooth underbody. Back to the bend of the hook. There we go. I'm going to take some Dunn colored CDL you can use any kind of rooster saddle fibers you can use micro fibbits these are just a quick easy way to tie my tail in I'm gonna measure that out just a smidge longer than hook shank length, length and we'll secure that down and if it's long I can trim that up and shorten it just a little bit I'm going to wrap that forward and before I get all the way forward and I'm going to trim some of these longer fibers there just so that they're out of my way There we go. Now I'm going to lock that all the way down and go back to my starting point. Just before I get there, I'm going to take two wraps underneath that tail just to help prop it up just a little bit. For the body on this, we're using the Pink Albert Colored wild barred turkey biots from magpie the premium I'm just gonna make sure it's nice and moist okay there's a ridge side on this and there's a non ridge side I'm gonna have that curvature of this biot facing towards me with the ridge side down and I'm just gonna taper that to where it's gonna secure down the tip all the way up into the body this is going to allow me to not have to trim that out or anything 
Now I'm going to create a little bit of a taper with this. I'm going to make sure I've got that all the way back to the back side of this body here. I'm going to create a taper with about four back and forth wraps. It's not a huge fly. I want a fairly slim profile, which is why I'm using 12 aught, but I do not want a non tapered body to this fly profile because the natural insect does have a nice taper to it. So now I've got that. I'm just going to half hitch there right in front of my post. I'm going to take my hackle pliers and we're going to wrap this hackle. You could put some um, super glue down on that thread to help bite down and secure this by it. I don't generally do that personally, but it does work great. I've just gotten used to not doing it. I'm going to wrap that basically all the way up into that post. And then I'm going to secure that down. Two wraps. Now I'm going to do a wrap in front just to help secure that off nice and good. Now I can take and move that back so I can see it better. Trim that out. I'm going to bite that by it down just a little bit more. Now we're ready to tie in our hackle. For the hackle I'm using just like a golden badger variant type that I really enjoy. Um, a golden badger is going to work. You could use a dun or a natural dun colored fly hackle is going to be great. You can see I've notched this out right here and one side is going to be the side I wrap first so that the shiny side is down and I'm going to tie and secure this fiber stem, this hackle stem in and get it kind of standing up on that post. We'll wrap it up the post, secure it down. Now I'm going to take Semperfly's Kapok Dubbing and I'm going to use the shrimp pink and I like using this lighter pink color so that it adds a little ver variation to my thorax and the body of my fly which to me I like a lot I don't know that it matters to the fish but I like how it looks and it performs well for me so I'm just going to create my thorax here, and I don't want a huge thorax, just a nice thorax there. Now I'm going to take and wrap that, and I have that bare stem to give me a nice good wrap as I start. And I'm going to give this three wraps. And I have the shiny side down because I want the fibers to be facing upwards helps me keep a nice cleaner fly. To finish this and just like all our other parachutes that we tie, I'm going to put a little bit of this Loctite super glue on my thread. Awesome stuff. And I'm just going to wrap this and secure it down with two wraps. I'll kind of seat that thread with just a little tug there. Now I'm going to take a razor blade, I'm going to snip out my thread, and then I'm going to put that up so I get a nice clean snip on my hackle, pulling the hackle fibers down. I'm using pink because for my parachute post, 
because pink is going to show up really good in a variety of different light conditions. It's going to show up pretty good in a low light and bright bright light. Now you can see I've got a nice clean parachute. I don't have all the fibers that I have to try and clean up. There's a little bit right there but not a big deal. And here we have a pink Albert parachute dry fly pattern. Again, if you find any value in this video, please make sure that you like the video. Make sure you leave us a comment. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell to receive future notification. This helps us out a great deal as we work hard to create good content for the community. And we appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you next week. Have a good day.